The ocean's depths, a realm of perpetual twilight, conceal creatures of extraordinary strangeness and chilling beauty. An alien world shrouded in mystery where the pressure is crushing and the sunlight fades into an inky void. Join us now, brave viewers, as we plunge into the abyss and encounter ten of its most terrifying denizens. Prepare yourselves for the abyss gazes back. Our journey into the terrifying begins with a creature straight out of a nightmare, the goblin shark. Lurking in the shadowy depths, often over 1,000 meters beneath the waves, this ancient predator is a true living fossil. Its most striking feature, no doubt, is its bizarre elongated snout extending far beyond its maw like a grotesque blade. But the goblin shark's terrifying visage is more than just for show. This snout is lined with sensitive electroreceptors, allowing it to detect the faintest electrical signals emitted by its prey, even in the pitch-black darkness of its domain. And then there's the goblin shark's nightmarish jaw, ordinarily held flush against its underbelly, giving it a deceptively streamlined appearance. The jaw is capable of extending with lightning speed, snapping forward like a horrifying set of fleshy pincers. Armed with rows of needle-sharp teeth, the goblin shark ambushes its prey with shocking ferocity, dragging them into its gaping maw. Fortunately for us surface dwellers, encounters with the goblin shark are incredibly rare. But the mere existence of this prehistoric predator serves as a stark reminder of the ancient alien world that lies hidden beneath the waves. Our next stop takes us into the realm of legend, the domain of the giant squid. For centuries, tales have been spun of colossal cephalopods dragging ships to their doom with their monstrous tentacles. While the reality may be less dramatic, the giant squid remains a creature of immense power and mystery. These titans of the deep can reach staggering sizes, with some estimates suggesting they can grow up to 43 feet in length. Their massive bodies are propelled through the inky blackness by powerful jets of water, their eight arms and two long tentacles trailing behind them like living whips. Equipped with hundreds of razor-sharp suckers, these tentacles are formidable weapons capable of ensnaring and crushing prey with ease. While direct encounters with giant squid are incredibly rare, the scars they leave on sperm whales, their primary predator, tell a tale of epic battles waged in the abyssal depths. And so, the legend of the Kraken lives on, a testament to the awe-inspiring power of the giant squid. From the depths, we ascend to the sun-drenched shallows, where a far more insidious threat awaits. The box jellyfish, a creature of ethereal beauty, is also one of the most venomous animals on Earth. Its delicate, bell-shaped body, pulsing rhythmically through the water, belies a deadly secret, a potent cocktail of toxins that can paralyze prey in seconds. Unlike its more passive relatives, the box jellyfish is an active hunter propelled through the water by its box-shaped bell. Its trailing tentacles, armed with thousands of microscopic stinging cells, deliver a neurotoxin so potent it can cause excruciating pain, cardiac arrest, and even death in humans. What makes the box jellyfish truly terrifying is its near invisibility in the water. Its transparent body, shimmering like a ghost in the sunlight, makes it incredibly difficult to detect. And so, this silent assassin drifts through the warm, coastal waters, a constant threat to unsuspecting swimmers. We return to the abyssal depths, to a world of perpetual darkness, where the only light comes from the creatures themselves. Here we encounter the anglerfish, a master of deception and a testament to the bizarre adaptations of deep sea life. The anglerfish's most distinctive feature, of course, is its bioluminescent lure. Dangling from a modified dorsal fin, this glowing appendage acts as an irresistible beacon, attracting unsuspecting prey towards its gaping maw. But the lure is more than just a simple light source. It's a complex organ capable of producing a variety of colors and patterns, tailored to attract specific prey. Beyond its lure, the anglerfish's appearance is nothing short of grotesque. Its bulbous body, covered in prickly spines, is perfectly adapted for life in the crushing depths. Its oversized head is dominated by a cavernous mouth filled with rows of razor-sharp teeth ready to snap shut on any unsuspecting creature lured in by its bioluminescent charm. Our journey through the abyssal plains continues, bringing us face to face with a creature both ancient and enigmatic, the frilled shark. 
With its serpentine body and unsettling grin, the frilled shark is a true relic of the prehistoric past, often referred to as a living fossil. Its most striking feature giving it its name is the series of six frilled gills that line its throat. These fleshy folds, reminiscent of a ruffled collar, are a testament to the shark's primitive lineage, harking back to a time when sharks were just beginning to evolve. The frilled shark's body is remarkably elongated, allowing it to move through the water with a sinuous, eel-like motion. Its long, flexible jaws are lined with rows of backward-pointing trident-shaped teeth, perfectly adapted for ensnaring slippery prey in the abyssal darkness. Seldom observed in its natural habitat, the frilled shark remains a creature shrouded in mystery. Its bizarre appearance and ancient lineage serve as a powerful reminder of the vast, unexplored world that lies hidden beneath the waves. From the abyssal depths, we venture into the vibrant coral reefs where a creature of dazzling beauty harbors a deadly secret. The blue-ringed octopus, small enough to fit in the palm of your hand, is one of the most venomous animals on Earth. Its vibrant yellow skin, adorned with iridescent blue rings that pulsate with warning, belies a potent neurotoxin capable of paralyzing prey in seconds. The blue-ringed octopus's venom is a complex cocktail of toxins, including tetrodotoxin, a substance 1,000 times more potent than cyanide. Despite its diminutive size, the blue-ringed octopus is a fearless hunter actively pursuing its prey among the coral. Its beak-like mouth hidden beneath its tentacles can deliver a venomous bite that can be fatal to humans. While encounters with the blue-ringed octopus are rare, it's crucial to remember that this beautiful creature packs a deadly punch. Its vibrant colors serve as a potent reminder that in the natural world, beauty can often conceal a hidden danger. We descend once more into the abyss, into the realm of perpetual darkness known as the Midnight Zone. Here we encounter a creature of ethereal beauty and enigmatic behavior, the Vampire Squid. Despite its name, the Vampire Squid is not a true squid, but rather a unique cephalopod, occupying its own distinct branch on the Tree of Life. Its gelatinous body, cloaked in velvety black skin, is adorned with two large bioluminescent eyes that glow an eerie blue in the darkness. The vampire squid's most striking feature is its webbed arms, connected by a thin membrane that gives it a cape-like appearance. When threatened, the vampire squid can invert its cape, revealing a series of fleshy spines that line its arms. This defensive posture, resembling a menacing spiky ball, is often accompanied by the expulsion of bioluminescent mucus, further confusing and deterring potential predators. Living in a world devoid of sunlight, the vampire squid has evolved unique adaptations for survival. Its large eyes, incredibly sensitive to light, allow it to detect the faintest bioluminescent flashes produced by other deep sea creatures. Its slow metabolism and ability to tolerate low oxygen levels make it perfectly suited for life in this challenging environment. Our journey takes us back to the vibrant coral reefs where a seemingly innocuous creature harbors a deadly secret. The cone snail, with its beautifully patterned shell, is a master of venom, wielding a potent cocktail of toxins that can paralyze prey in an instant. Don't be deceived by its slow, deliberate movements. The cone snail is a highly specialized hunter, equipped with a harpoon-like tooth that it uses to inject its venom into unsuspecting prey. This tooth, modified from a radula, is barbed and filled with a complex mixture of neurotoxins, each targeting specific nerve channels in its victim. The cone snail's venom is incredibly potent, capable of paralyzing fish, worms, and even other mollusks with lightning speed. In some species, the venom is so powerful that it can be fatal to humans. While the cone snail's beauty might tempt you to pick it up, remember that this creature is a master of chemical warfare. Its intricate patterns serve as a warning, Admire its beauty from a safe distance and let this master of venom remain undisturbed in its coral kingdom. Our exploration of the ocean's terrors brings us to the surface, to the realm of wind and waves. Here we encounter a creature that is neither fish nor jellyfish, but a colony of organisms working together as one, the Portuguese man o' war. Its most striking feature is its vibrant balloon-like float, filled with gas and resembling an 18th-century Portuguese warship under full sail. 
This iridescent blue or pink float, often reaching up to 12 inches in length, serves as a sail, propelling the man of war across the surface of the ocean at the mercy of the wind and currents. But beneath the surface, a deadly secret lurks. Trailing behind the float are long, stinging tentacles armed with millions of microscopic nematocysts, each containing a coiled, barbed thread that delivers a potent venom. These tentacles can extend up to 100 feet below the surface, creating a deadly curtain of pain for any creature that crosses its path. The Portuguese Man of War's sting is excruciatingly painful, causing welts, blisters and even muscle weakness. While rarely fatal to humans, its venom can trigger allergic reactions and cause severe distress. So, if you encounter this floating terror on your seaside adventures, admire its beauty from afar and avoid its deadly embrace. Our final descent takes us to the depths off the coast of Australia, where we encounter a creature that defies conventional notions of beauty, the blobfish. Often dubbed the world's ugliest animal, the blobfish's gelatinous, almost featureless appearance is a testament to the unique adaptations of life in the deep sea. Living at depths where the pressure is over 100 times that of the surface, the blobfish has evolved a body that is essentially a living blob. Its lack of muscle, a seemingly disadvantageous trait, is actually a clever adaptation to its environment. With minimal bone structure and a body composed primarily of gelatinous flesh, the blobfish conserves energy, effortlessly maintaining its buoyancy in the crushing depths. But the blobfish's bizarre appearance shouldn't overshadow its ecological importance. As a bottom-dwelling scavenger, it plays a crucial role in the deep-sea food web, consuming dead organisms and organic matter that drifts down from the surface. So while the blobfish may not win any beauty contests, its unusual appearance is a reminder that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that even the most seemingly bizarre creatures have a vital role to play in the intricate tapestry of life. From the ethereal beauty of the blue-ringed octopus to the grotesque charm of the blobfish, the creatures of the deep ocean reveal the astounding diversity of life on our planet. They remind us that the oceans are a realm of wonder, teeming with creatures that are both beautiful and terrifying, familiar and alien. But these creatures and the ecosystems they inhabit are facing increasing threats from pollution, overfishing and climate change. It is our responsibility to protect these fragile environments and ensure the survival of these extraordinary creatures for generations to come. If you've been captivated by the wonders of the deep, subscribe to Facts with underscore Remu for more intriguing wildlife content. Together, let's 